Hey, whore, go make me a sandwich in the kitchen. It's a joke. What, am I canceled now? You're lucky you're even talking to me. Because I'm a high-value male. Yeah, I am. Okay, females don't deserve rights. It's my opinion. Does anyone in here watch entertain? No? Okay, then I'll just leave since everyone wants me to freaking die. This is why men's mental health is... What's Gucci team? You know who it is and you know who it ain't. Welcome back for yet another video. I've missed you so much. I know long time no see. Listen, your girl has been busy. Your girl's been working, but you don't care about that. You care about this video. As you can tell from the title, Why Men Suck Part 2. Listen, part one was, was a major success. I had to bring it back because based on the comments from the males, they loved it. I mean, I received so much love and so many kind and respectful and supportive messages from the males i felt like it was only right that i had to make a part two if you don't know what i'm talking about i highly suggest you check out why men suck part one before you watch part two trust me it'll make a whole lot of sense when you're ready to come back and watch part two we will be here waiting on you so go ahead watch part one without further ado Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, wait, 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 you listen. I'm so excited, I'm just hopping around. I didn't even get to introduce myself to new folks. Hi to all the new folks. I am your coach, I am your captain. My name is Alea, and here we talk about anything and everything. As you can tell, I do not have any friends, so I talk to you guys a lot. I mean, I guess y'all are my friends too, but you get my fucking point. All the returning people, hey boo, I missed you. Thank you for constantly supporting you, girl. We, we up, we up, and I'm, I'm loving it, I'm here for it. Um, uh, introduce yourself to the new folks, support the new folks in the comments. This is a safe space for women, men, we don't care what you think, just sh sh share the video if you like, that's great. Um, is that everything? Okay, let's get into it. Oh my God, first of all, fresh set, fresh set, you see me. Where do I begin? Why men suck? Let's start off with the fact that y'all are predators, shall we? You know, I want to make it abundantly clear that any man who has ever made a jab at a woman's age, who has called her old for being 30, 40, 50, or hell, even 60, that's, that's a man that's, that likes children. And hear me out. This is why. This is why. Listen to me. Hear me out. Contrary to what everybody believes, what you may believe, it wasn't a bunch of women sitting around coming up with these qualifications that make women undesirable. There, these women were not sitting here in a two-piece power suit with a presentation coming up with these qualifications that make women valueless. Men did that. Okay, hear me out. Before you start yelling, just hear me out. Here, here's the study that I've conducted, okay? Here is what I found to support my claim. Psychologists and psychology experts say that your brain is not fully developed until you are at the age of 30. This means two things. Up until the age of 30, you are far more likely to be more naive, more susceptible to bullshit, and why? Because your brain is still developed. Once a woman hits the age of 30, she has been through the fucking ringer. She has seen all of the dust and bullshit that men have to offer, and at that age, she is far less likely to accept degenerate, dusty-ass behavior from somebody's musty-ass son. I'm no professional. Like I said, I did my research because I like to know what the fuck I'm talking about, which is why, again, research is important. But because I know I'm gonna have a few of you males in the comments saying, cite your sources, check out this video. When is the brain fully developed? Well, your brain doesn't actually fully mature until about the age of 25. Did you know that the brain actually develops from the back to the front? So the prefrontal cortex is the last part of the brain that actually develops. So this part of the brain is responsible for, I've got a list here, reasoning, logic, problem solving, planning, memory, focus and attention, developing and carrying out goals, stopping your impulses and developing your personality. That part of your brain, the prefrontal cortex, doesn't actually finish developing until you're about 25 years old. So now you can understand why your children behave the way that they do. That part of their brain has not developed yet. So the next time you get so frustrated at your child, just say to yourself, their prefrontal cortex has not yet developed. You men love, you enjoy manipulating and controlling women and it's just the absolute easiest to do so when they're less experienced. That's why you got motherfuckers like Andrew Tate 
walking around here talking about how these girls have quote gone through less dick which is very again very predatory in nature and it's also very disingenuous if you think about it because STDs are running rampant around the age group of 18 to 25. Do you know what that demographic is doing? What they're doing in life? They're in college. Again, um, predatory nature, absolutely disgusting. You date these young girls because it's easier to control. You're e they're easier to manipulate and it's quite disgusting. Another predatory tactic that men frequent is creating environments and situations in where women are forced to rely on them. And I'll give you a common scenario that I see. A woman, she'll marry this man. He's great. He's doing all the right things. He's super caring. He's generous. He's chivalrous. He marries you, etc. He will remove you from your family. That's either moving you out of the country, moving you out of the state so that communications is a lot harder. Your finances now become his finances, meaning any money that you make becomes his money or nine out of 10 times you become a stay at home mother, a stay at home wife, which is removing the ability for you to make your own money. So when he pisses you off, or when you piss him off, you are stuck. Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? Because you put your trust in this man who has now turned into this fucking monster. I want you guys to check out this video by this guy called Moses the Prophet, and he's more like Moses the fucking Predator, where he explains of how he will create a situation where he is essentially jeopardizing a woman's safety. Take a look. Pick up from the airport. It's top on the way to the house. If she don't, I'm going to drive halfway home, stop the car, and then kick out. And then I'm going to tell her, go find your way back home from here. Now, not only do you have to find your way back to the airport, because you don't know it yet, you still also going to have to buy that plane ticket. Greetings and salutations. It has been brought to our attention that there is a creator by the name of Moses the Prophet on this platform who has made a what we would call a disgusting sexual epithet in relevance to a minor in discussion. Please watch the following video as we observe this appalling nature. Viewer discretion is advised. Is it okay for a man to look at those supple 34 D's even on a 14 year old? So what? Since when is having a fantasy illegal? Well Moses the Prophet. Or shall we say Aaron Moses Ansley? We want to remind you, while you use your disgusting sexual epithets and have sexual fantasies in regards to a minor, that there is a difference between legality and morality. Morally that is incredibly disturbing and disgusting. Legally and sadly it is debatable. Let's touch back of the legally part however. Mr. Ansley we have a question. Why do you behave as such knowing you have an open case with Prince George's County Public Schools? That may I add has been open since 2017. Around the same time you used to teach in Maryland at local educational institutions. I think you should worry more about the contents of that case for it's relevant to your display of your current behavior. To anyone who co-signs to the beliefs of this. Individual will be exposed to the highest tenacity just like Mr. Aaron Moses Ansley has been. Retaliation is expected. Consequences for said retaliation can and will be fertile to have the day you deserve and remember we are always watching. Okay, y'all, listen, we gonna switch gears here a little bit. Um, for all the new folks, I do this a lot, okay? I'll be on one topic and then I'll be on another topic. It's gonna be a lot to take in at the beginning okay it's gonna be a lot to process but listen as you watch a couple more videos you'll begin to catch my drift okay cute let's move on this particularly is for the men i need you to understand that when you call a woman old it's really not the flex that you think it is because guess what you're gonna be old one day too i know i know it's crazy i know you thought you were gonna be like 26 28 forever but it doesn't work that way contrary to what you believe once the birthday clock strikes 30 with women it's not like they i don't know spontaneously combust they just move on to the next phase of life because i don't know what the alternative is i'm deaf maybe but yeah um i wanted to let you know that so that maybe you can understand that aging is a very real process so my suggestion to you i know new things we learn them every day maybe get off the fucking video games and go touch some grass and again realize that aging is a very real process regardless of your sex switching back to my young girls listen he's not dating you because you're mature 
I know I already said this, but I really need to drive this point home. He's not dating you because you're mature. He's dating you because he sees how impressionable and how easy it is to manipulate you. Remember what I was telling you about me being 19, 18, dating a 40 year old fucking man? Traumatic as hell. Traumatic as hell. I'm telling you this because I don't want you to have to go through this, okay? No, none of these women are hating on you. Nobody wanted that man, and that's why he had to go to a younger demographic. Now, yes, don't get me wrong. There are some people that just so happen to fall in love with people who are in very large age gaps, right? Myself included. I do tend to date men that are at least maybe six to seven years older than me. But what I've noticed, right, between the men who just date everybody and sometimes they just happen to date someone who is significantly younger or significantly older and vice versa, versus the men who date a particular age range is the language and the patterns of behaviors. You see, the men that, that purely want to date these younger girls, they only stick with the 18 to 25 and that's their hard stop. If they could go past 18, they fucking would. To further elaborate on the manipulation piece, which is gonna just kind of dive back into the predatory piece, the way you men fight for coercion is insane. The way y'all men fight for coercion is, it's quite disturbing. It really is. Because you see, women can be out here living their best life, having you know autonomy over their sexual life. They can pride themselves on fucking for money, fucking as many men as they want. It's generally having the same approach to sex like men do, and it absolutely repulses y'all. It really makes y'all sick, you, you know, all of a sudden she's so valueless and she's the throwaway of society, X, Y, and Z, but y'all don't have a problem with faking who you are to get sex or your favorite one begging and begging and asking and asking for sex until she says yes after she said no. You're going to pull out your phone, get up and walk into another room. You're going to either call another girl or pretend you're talking to another girl. Then you're gonna come back out and tell her, hey, listen, um, it was nice hanging out with you, but you gotta go now. And then you let her mind race, thinking, oh, this guy really just called another girl just now? I better either A, give him what he wants, because he's gonna kick me out of here and I might lose this guy, or B, she never wanna have sex with you in the first place and you get rid of the time. I know that's what you want, and you want a relationship, I'll pretend to be that guy for like <laughs> a couple weeks, maybe a month. <laughs> And like, you know the plan very well, Marlo. <laughs> okay, so let me get this straight. Okay, so her having a high body count, her being like, yes, I like to fuck, I like to have sex, et cetera, et cetera. That's a no-no, that's disgusting. But you being manipulative, condescending, a lying piece of shit to get sex is okay. Coercion is okay, which is rape, which is a crime. Like I said, fucking predators, moving on. Okay, so I have to throw this piece in here because this is absolutely important as well. The way y'all place value in childlike qualities is pedophilic at best. It is both rooted in pedophilia, like I said, and predatory nature. Let's talk about it. Uh-oh, that sounds like pedophilia. Y'all want women, y'all place high value in women who are virgins or who have a very low body count. You prefer them to not have any body count at all, but you still also want them to be Karen Stephens in the bedroom, which doesn't make sense. Which would, trail it back. You want her to be hairless. She can't have stretch marks. And if she does have titties, they need to be up here. She has to have a dainty voice, has to be petite, because y'all know y'all love calling women over 150 who are fat, and I know a lot of children who are 150, okay? So again, looking at all these qualifications that y'all deem valuable in a woman, submissive, subservient, who just listens to you and does everything you say, I only know one person who fits all of those qualifications, and that is who? Exactly, a fucking child. Uh-oh. That sounds like Y'all are fucking predators and you tell on yourself every day on the goddamn internet and I just really hope that the FBI is watching but then again hey we have a lot of city officials your 
your judges, your police officers, hell, your probably the motherfuckers in the FBI who are white, also predators and they know exactly what to avoid because why they're still out here prosecuting the same motherfuckers who are doing the same shit that they're doing. Conversation for a different day. I know that was a lot, but we are nowhere near done. Y'all are also fucking hypocrites. <laughs> Shocker. Shocker. You see, y'all men will be out here with your whole voice talking about how pros again, prostitution is disgusting. You know, women sleeping around is disgusting. More specifically in regards to prostitution, because I was having this back and forth with this fucking moron on the internet. And he essentially was saying that these women who are prostitutes aren't honest women. They're not making an honest living and they're just, they're dang valueless, right? But y'all are the same motherfuckers that feel entitled to a blowjob after you spend $300 on a date. Do you not see, do you not see, you, you don't see that? You, of course you don't, cause you got the, the IQ of a fucking tree stump. And y'all's common argument, oh my God, your common argument, well it's just about selling your body, it's about to sell your body. Listen, we are all selling our body in some way, shape or form. What is the army? Quickly. What is the military? Quickly. We are all selling our body for fucking currency. But let's be real. It has nothing to do with women selling their bodies. Let's break that down because here's the thing. Number one, you don't care about women's fucking bodies. You never fucking did. You don't even respect women's bodies enough because hence the overturning of Roe versus Wade because again, if it was really about the sanctity of women and their bodies, y'all would have fought a lot fucking harder to make sure that that shit did not happen. And number two, y'all would never say this to a man because there are men out there turning tricks too. But no, let's focus on the women though. Let's focus on the women. Because y'all have the IQ of a tree stump. Let me break this down for you, okay? And I know you felt economic, so I'm gonna hold your hand through this, don't worry. So, for there to be a supply, a demand has to exist. For a demand to exist, there has to be a supply. It is you guys who made the sex industry the billion dollar giant that it is. But yeah, y'all are the biggest contributors to the sex industry. So maybe, just maybe, if you would stop paying into this said industry that you swear is a problem, maybe it wouldn't exist, I don't know. Yes, we have women who consume or who put into, you know, the sex culture, the sex industry, whatever you wanna call it, but it is you guys that are complaining about it and it is you guys that are, again, the biggest financial contributors of said industry. It's never about sex. It's never about respecting yourselves. It's never about any of that because it's really about y'all hating women who have autonomy over their sex lives. Y'all hate that women can merely exist and bank off of merely existing, bank off of existing, bank off of y'all's weak and pathetic and uncontrollable sexual desires. Cause I'm gonna tell you right now, if it was you calling the shots and if it was you benefiting and women had no way of benefiting from this, you wouldn't have a problem. This wouldn't be a discussion. So be FFR, be fucking for real with what really is the problem is you hate that women have control. You do not see women as humans. You do not want women to have choices. And this is why we're having this goddamn conversation present day. Oh, and this is my favorite one, makeup. Oh my God, I can't tell you how many comments. One makeup wipe and you're done. Take her swimming on the first date. No, bitch, let's take you swimming on the first date because is, is this you? Is this you? I'm a male news anchor and this is how I do my makeup. So I start off with some concealer. I don't really know what that word means, but I put it on the T-frame of my face. I uh, get... Next we have highlight, and usually I would use contour here uh, before this step, but my contour is a little too dark. Uh, I need to go back to the makeup store, but that's for another video. Y'all will show us a picture of a woman and be like, yeah, this is what I like, this is natural. And Miss Mama's got a full face beat down contour or highlight the house down. I mean, it's not like you would know what the fuck you're talking about. And me being a makeup artist, one of my biggest pet peeves is when I would have a client and her man or whoever this simp is, I'm just kidding, not a simp. We love simps, we love simps over here. But she has some man paying for her makeup and he turns around and tells me, don't do this, I don't like this and I don't like that. 
If you don't like that, sir, I'm not gonna do it on your face, but I'm gonna give her exactly what she wants. And nine out of 10 times, when y'all sit, sit here and tell me don't do X, Y, and Z on my girl's face, I do X, Y, and Z on your girl's face and she fucking loves it and you're still gonna pay me. And not only are you gonna pay me, you're gonna do it with a smile, okay? So again, y'all hate makeup, but you're wearing makeup, but you and you're also following every Instagram baddie and porn star who is what? Yeah, baby, wearing a full face of makeup. Again, it's not like you can tell the fucking difference between a natural beat, a next to no makeup makeup look, and a fucking full glam. So maybe just, it's, it's giving jealousy too. It's, it's giving jealousy. I also think it's quite pathetic and actually hilarious when y'all also demonize and talk shit about the BBL girlies, you know, oh, she has a fake ass and she has fake lips and fake extensions and fake this and fake that, baby. Your Instagram following does not it doesn't support the claim. Your your Pornhub search history does not support your claim. Again, another instance of me not wanting to hear that shit when y'all out here getting fake pecs, fake biceps, dick implants, and God knows whatever the hell else. So just shut your damn mouth. Excuse me, can you record me real quick? Uh -huh. Can you record me real quick? Uh-uh, -uh, get somebody else to do it. Y'all don't want your daughters to date. This is a big one, okay? I'm gonna really piss you off this one. Y'all don't want your daughters to date, right? You know, you wanna get a shotgun when she goes to prom and you wanna try and ch chastise the, the boy that's coming to take your daughter on a date. Oh, because you what? Because you, you know how men are? Yeah, bitch, I bet you do. I bet you do know how men are because you are the exact type of man that she's a thousand percent going to come across at some point in her life. Again, Disneyland fucking delusional for y'all to actually believe that you can go out into the world and treat women like shit. Hell, y'all treating their mothers like shit. But then you somehow think that your daughter is going to be, you know, saved of all of that. She's gonna be excluded from all of that. Again, BFFR. What is that spell? Be fucking for real. I've said this before and I will fucking say it again until it's no longer a problem. The way y'all berate single mothers, oh my God, the way you berate mothers, period, boils my blood. And I know a lot of you comment, well, you don't even have kids, so why does it matter? Bitch, I don't need to fucking have kids to see how y'all are so blatantly disrespectful to women and that's why y'all losing your goddamn minds because there are so many women that are like, I'm not gonna put my life on jeopardy and put my mental health in disarray just to be a, treated as a second class citizen. Cause let's be real, women who decide to give birth and birth your degenerate ass legacy, they're doing society a favor. They're not only doing society a favor again, they're doing you a fucking favor. But that's beside the point. Y'all get on this internet to talk about, oh, I, why would I date a single mother? And oh gosh, she's a single mother. You were raised by one. Wants to disrespect single mothers yet raised by a single mother. And again, now right over here, baby, single mother slander will not be tolerated. I will go below the belt on your ass. So watch your mouth. But like I said, hates single mothers, disrespects single mothers, sees single mothers as, or mothers in general, as second class citizen, yet was raised by one. But you won't date them. And here's the problem that I have, right? Because I understand no one is telling you to date single mothers because I understand preferences. We all have our preferences. Some women don't like short, balding, little dick, no money, have an ass man. And some of you guys don't like single mothers or mothers. Okay, that's fine. But the problem is y'all don't know how to shut your goddamn mouth about it. There's something really disturbing about how men, right? How y'all treat women that you don't find attractive. That goes for fat women too. Oh my God, a fat woman existing and she's talking about the man that she wants and you are clearly not that man, but it's not stopping you from going on a fat phobic rant and you being so violently angry. The way y'all treat women that you do not find attractive is so beyond mentally disturbed. Again, there needs to be some kind of psychological experiment or study so we can understand what the fuck is going on. Again, nobody is telling you to date these women. So just keep your fucking mouth shut and maybe just have your preferences in silence. But again, y'all, it's just like, almost like having tics. You cannot help but to just have these violent outbursts to women that you do not like. So as long as you keep doing that, as women like me and Drew Afalo, Drew Afalo, excuse me, that's gonna continue to drag y'all asses. So don't start crying when that same energy is being reciprocated, okay? Cool. You know what also grinds my gears? 
how y'all slut shame us. Like this isn't anything new, but I just find it so funny how it's, you know, she's a hoe, she's a hoe, she's for the streets, she's this, she's that, but did you hit? Did you hit? And if you did hit, could you hit again? I'm gonna say no because she probably learned her fucking lesson and I know what you're about to say, you know, still hit, still hit. That is literally the equivalent of driving a limousine with mad passengers in it, crashing it, killing people, and then turning around and saying, still drove though. Yeah, you still fucking failed. You're still a fucking failure. You're still a fucking loser, so congratulations. You know what also pisses me off? Y'all love calling us hoes. Y'all love calling us hoes. Oh, she's a hoe, she's a hoe, she's a hoe. But was she a hoe when you were knee deep in her ass, eating her out like a cupcake? You see, y'all will sit here and call women hoes, but you fucked half your city. Women are hoes, but you, if y'all could, you would fuck her, her sister, her aunt, her mother, and the family dog if you could. Women are for the streets, but you motherfuckers are for the universe. And I know you guys are gonna try and throw Christianity in there, but listen, brother in Christ, you're not a fucking virgin either. I'm almost certain that both y'all are supposed to be virgins. I hell, I don't even think we're all supposed to be even engaged in this fucking fornication because apparently we're gonna all go to hell. But again, I find it very interesting how the concept of sleeping around and being a hoe only applies to women when y'all are doing the exact same thing and I don't wanna hear about how y'all are different because you're not. And by the way, if you smashed, you smashed, right bro? And she didn't come, she fucked you. Take the L. Okay, look, you you stayed with me this long, okay? I'm gonna just wrap it up because this is getting long and baby, listen, the wine is doing what it needs to do and if I keep drinking and keep talking, we gonna be here all goddamn day. So the last and final point of why men suck, the projection. Let's get into that. Men, y'all were projection queens before projecting was projecting. Specifically, I wanna talk about this whole marriage and you're gonna end up alone argument that y'all frequently like to fucking use because we have studies of professionals saying that that's the quite opposite. And you know that. You see, back in the day days, all you had to do was just be a man and with, with a job and you didn't have to have much of a personality. You didn't have to be a decent human being or hell, hell on a decent father. And you would get a wife. Y'all had about a boatload. Y'all had the pick of the litter, okay? Because women back then were trained to go to college to find husbands. They weren't trained to go to school. They weren't trained to go to college to go to school, get an education, get a degree. It was to go and find a husband. And that's exactly what happened. We have women who are in, who are divorced, who are widowed, who are telling us do not get married. We have professionals saying that you are the only ones that benefit from marriage. Y'all men who, men who are married have a far better quality of life and life expectancy and I wonder why. It's because y'all are getting a free maid, you're getting a free sex slave, you are getting a chef, you're getting a therapist, you're getting a babysitter, you're getting a nurturer, you're getting an assistant, you're getting all of these amazing things for the low, low price of just paying some fucking bills. And y'all know that. We literally have studies that say that the single men, y'all are the one that are making far less, less money and y'all are actually the loneliest demographic. So with these studies supporting the claim that actually is childless and single women who are the happiest demographic, why would you consistently push this narrative of women dying alone? Why would you constantly try and fear monger women into settling for marriage with your dusty ass? That's because that is your fucking reality. You guys are afraid to be alone. I mean, take it from y'all dead ass daddy, Kevin Samuels. He was out here telling women to get a dog and die alone. And what did he do? He didn't have a dog, but he did die on top of a woman of the night with less than, I don't know, allegedly $4,000 in the bank account, a leaking BMW and a really bad case of high blood pressure. Again, Y'all are out here projecting your biggest insecurities on women and instead of you, I don't know, maybe going to get some fucking help and kind of identifying what those issues are, you would rather sit here and tell other people what they would need to do. Which brings me to my next experience, okay? If you're watching, you know exactly who you are. I had this, um, this fine gentleman 
call my phone not once not twice nope not even three times but four times to tell me that my video transition sucked thanks for the view appreciate you um i also gave you your 15th view on one of your videos so congratulations on that um he told me my transition sucked he said that sound like oprah oh and oh and i needed therapy so he tells me this after telling me his whole life story about how he went in the war and how women we need to be grateful for the problems we have here because in other countries they have it worse as if that's supposed to justify the behavior that we have the behavior that women put up with here he sits here and also tells me how he didn't have a good relationship with his mother and how his you know father used to put hands and feet and every goddamn thing else on him and how he had a um very crippling mental health crisis suicidal if you will so you you come to my page you come to my both my pages you call me you blow me up actually to tell me that i need therapy i don't know i'm not professional but based on what you've told me i think you should be blowing up the veterans affairs line or maybe calling the suicide prevention hotline because the call is coming from inside the house brother so i don't know Maybe my transitions and my voice are the last thing that you need to worry about. The way that the news is coddling you guys because you're not you're not having sex, you're just so lonely is also the problem with why y'all act the way you do. Because you know, instead of going to therapy, instead of listening to women and saying, you know, maybe I could do better as a man. Maybe I could do better as a person. Maybe hell, if I wasn't gonna even do that, maybe I could do better for myself, but no. Y'all would rather sit here and justify shit behavior just for the ego of men. It's not, it's not making much sense. You see what I also noticed too, right? Kind of pedaling back to the whole you're gonna die alone situation. We have nurses coming out and telling us that it is actually you guys dying alone. That it is you guys in the hospital that are trying to get in contact with your family that want nothing to do with you because you were an insufferable piece of shit your entire life. You'd have pissed off all, all three of your goddamn wives. Your kids see how you treated their mother. They don't want nothing to do with you. Again, another case supporting the claims that it's actually you guys that are suffering the most at this and you absolutely have the power to change this but you won't and as long as you don't and as long as you continue to have this problem we're going to continue to have this discussion and we will continue to fucking drag the dog shit out of you and that is all that i have for today's video if you made it to the end congratulations cheers to you this video was so long-winded that i actually didn't get to even touch on all of the reasons why men suck so you know what that means yes baby part three is absolutely coming so i highly suggest you subscribe if you have not already share and like the video this is a safe space for the crew girlies ladies i want to hear from you why do you think men suck what have been your experiences that have made you believe that men actually do suck men we don't want to hear it mm -mm. your feedback is not needed what you can actually do is just share the video repost it to your page you could send other men to watch the videos but i do not want to see you guys in my comments okay i know following instructions and respecting the wishes of a woman is a little bit hard but i believe that you can do it thank you so much for watching me and supporting me and supporting this channel and i will catch you in my next video peace if you're not having kids feel like you're useless being a woman chasing a woman with a used vagina a disrespectful mouth. I say, if my wife lets herself go after I have kids with her, if I'm gonna tell her once, if you don't get your shit together, if you even can't girlfriends, do that, girlfriend too, if you can't do that, I'm out. In quotes, if you put yourself in a position to be, you must bear some responsibility. I'm tired of getting on TikTok and seeing all these fucking sluts with makeup, lashes, showing their cleavage, showing their ass. You're a hoe. You're social media hoe. No one's gonna take you seriously, and they only follow you because of what you look like. You useless bitch. All y'all do on it, men, all y'all doing on this internet is bashing women and talk about how much y'all hate everything that women do. Bro, go be gay. Go go just go be gay.